On new at six tonight, students in Reynoldsburg are being forced to learn remotely as the school district struggles to get students into the classroom. The problem, not enough bus drivers. So tonight, 10 TV's Bryant Somerville is showing us why this is happening. No buses pulled up outside French Run Elementary Thursday. No students walked the halls. No classroom chairs were sat in. Books on the shelves still. Their pages unturned. All because it was the school's turn. This is our first day where we have been virtual. To deal with short staffing. David Schottner is the school's principal. Because of the district's lack of bus drivers, he says knowing this day was a possibility and knowing not all families have access to the internet, teachers sent home learning kits. Paper and pencil activities, math manipulatives, whatever the teachers think that the students need to be successful for this day. So basically they're continuing their learning. Whatever they've been doing in class this week, today is a time to practice that. So the school district tells me already this year, five different schools have had to be placed on remote learning. And those schools are based off of the bus routes most impacted. So this isn't ideal, but here's the alternative. The district says by taking one school and making it remote, that frees up 12 different bus routes. In the case of French Run Elementary, we are talking more than 520 students not in school today. But because of that, more than 7,000 students in the district were able to be in the classroom. It trickles down. It goes from the schools to the students to the parents of these students, yes. the guardians of these yes. students. Is this an inconvenience for these students and their families? I would imagine it is an inconvenience for the families and we appreciate their partnership so much. The school provided breakfast and lunch for students who could get to school. Schottner says additional programs like Children's Hunger Alliance where boxes of meals and snacks are sent home every week for those who need it most are helping to feed those students who rely on meals from the district. As for the teachers, Schottner says all they can do prepare themselves and their students knowing remote days might not end anytime soon. So this is kind of like when we have to do it, we're prepared, but a regular school day with kids is our preference. In Reynoldsburg, Bryant Somerville. Oh, my son is gonna be so mad. 10 TV News. Well, the district says starting next week, preschool drop off and pickup times will shift to help alleviate pressure on the school bus routes.